still over here at the uh, Cape Coral Police Department, guys. Uh, just talking to the uh, the Master Sergeant um, McMullen, real cool guy. He's always been real respectful. Oh, he's being nosy. This guy right here trying to hide behind the post and stuff. Well, it must be the sound, the sound guy there. So they got a sound guy and a camera guy. That's pretty cool. really need a cigarette guys I have to step like five steps backwards to get on the sidewalk <laughs> This guy's very professional. Um, hopefully I'm not quoting him wrong, but the Master Sergeant McMullen, or McCullen, McMullen, McCullen. This guy's pretty cool. He's always been respectful since day one. Even when everything went down crazy in the beginning, you know, I truly believe that he, he put some of his, you know, officer friends in their place. But, you know, um, basically I, was talking to him off camera there for a little bit, guys, about the uh, audit I did out here with the uh, guy that lives up behind here. And uh, they gave me crap that night for being out there recording. And um, I never had any issues. All right, I basically just told him that, um, that, you know, what happened and stuff. And he's like, well, at first he was like, well, you, you know, you weren't recording his house. And I'm like, well, that wouldn't matter. I could record it all. And then he was like, oh, yeah. So if I'm on the public sidewalk, you can record everything. Oh, that's a sorry man. This camera crew needs to get this crap right. Poor guy, he's being blinded by the sun. If they take 10 steps back, they can be under that carport thing there. So this is what it looks like when they're interviewing somebody, guys. It's a pretty nice camera. Well, I bet you people would freak out if I came. You remember, like, uh, back in the days, guys, when there was, like, all them old, like, those cameras, them old VHS tape, man? I couldn't imagine lugging one of those things around to do an audit. <laughs> So we're at the Cape Coral Police Department again, guys. Um, I did let him know that his officers did exceptionally, exceptionally well. Um, the week ago or so I was out here, uh, they were all friendly. I've already had waves today. I haven't been thrown off the site. And the guy you were seeing that was interviewed is the Master Sergeant here. So, you know, we haven't, I haven't had any issues at all. Another wave. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? How are you? Pretty good. How you doing? Good. Can I help you? No, I'm just checking you out. Just talking to you. Yeah, but you don't know. You've seen me out here before? I know who you are. You know who I am? Yeah, we've talked before. Have we? You did 
just sent me a really nice email. That's you. That's yeah, you. I was just talking to him about that. I'll be pull over. Yeah, sure. Hello. Sure. You don't have to get out. <laughs> yeah, man, that's that's awesome. No, I saw you out here. I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh yeah. The last time I saw you was uh, down by the post office. Huh? I shake your hand, but we're social. Yeah, distancing. for sure. You got to keep the distance. But uh, yeah, man. Um, I was just telling. Uh, was it McCullen or the guy that the other guy standing out there being interviewed right now? Last I didn't even see that. Yeah, he's out there with the Wink News is right here. Oh, cool. And um, I was telling him about it, oh, too. Oh, Mullen. Yeah, Mullen. Mullen. Yeah, I can never get that name right. But, yeah, man, it's it was great last time I was out here. Um, There's a big change from when I started doing it like a year ago. Yeah, you know? we can't complain. And I preach all the time in my videos that, yeah, I expect people a certain amount of uh, uncomfortability and, you know, mm -hmm. uncomfortableness in the beginning. But it seems like everything fell in place with you guys as far as educating people and the other officers and you know nobody has to be scared to come out here and record no there shouldn't be it's a first amendment right yeah absolutely and that's yeah, what we're I in it for i just want to say hello well, since i haven't seen you in a while yeah been, what, i don't like two years now i don't think i remember I don't, I don't remember meeting you no i talked to you on the phone a bunch was it the phone okay yeah 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 for sure i mean it's I mean, that's all, you know, there, there's going to be a lot more starting up out here, and that's why I get out here, too, is to educate the other auditors that are, right. will be out here, and I just don't want them to freak out coming out and know that this is, you know, a First Amendment safe area, all this, this area. area. It is, it is. I mean, you guys do great out here, and, and you guys don't get that a lot, you know, especially with all the crap going on now. Everybody's, you're under the fine, you know, eye of every other public. It's definitely interesting <laughs> times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just just talking to a, you know, somebody in the public, you know, it, you, you tell just by facial expressions that they're not happy or they're just they're scared. You know, here comes a guy with a gun. They're looking at it that way now instead of here comes an officer. You know, they're like here comes a guy with a gun. You know, and it's just. Well, we do so much to partner with our community and programs. You know, the police athletic league. Yeah. You know, we have the Explore program. We have a lot of programs that we have Citizens Police Academy where we show people what we do, we tell them why we're doing it, and yeah. they're like, oh, so it's not like they're saying here? Right. No. Right, right. Is well, that what they're saying over here? Let me ask you this, if you're if you're allowed to comment on this, and if not, I completely understand. Do you do think it was right that what the court came, um, court's verdict was for uh, the officers that, you know, killed George Floyd? Do you think it was right for what the, the what they got? We're gonna let them handle that. Yeah. We're not even gonna. That's that's up to their courts. But the, the boys in blue, though, they, you guys, y'all don't just go talking around like, hey, you know, let's let's gang up and go out here and mess with a citizen or kill somebody. I know you, you guys don't do that. No. We you would know? never do that. I mean, there's there's a lot of people that think that. Of course there are. I just think that psychologically it's messed up right now and it's going to take time for the community to heal uh, maybe not our community as much because you guys do do great out here um you don't see i don't flip on the news every day and see some kind of brutality case I and mean, if i do it's usually within a week that you, you guys already dealt with it that guy's gone right but, and one of the things that most people don't realize as as the cape Coral police department has been accredited since 1989. wow i didn't know that so that means we're held to a higher standard hmm. So we have to, uh, well, we have the police, we have forensics, and we have our communication section. All three have been accredited. Wow. So we have like 700 standards that we have to follow. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, we won't be accredited. Oh, wow. So we have checks and balances. We're part of, you know, groups that look over our use of force. They look over everything. Right. And we're, we're in compliance. Man, so we don't awesome. have the cases where you're going to see, mm -hmm. you know, incidents from around the country. Oh man, so I know you. I know you're busy. I just got one more question for you, or or your opinion on it. Do you remember the video I did a year and a half ago at the post office? I do. And was it Officer Panky? Is that his name? It was. Do you think it was right the way he treated me in that situation? Because I mean, if you've seen the videos now, there's two of them that are exactly the same, and they both have over three to four hundred thousand views with thousands of comments right. that are showing that I was in the right in that situation. My question, or what I was running into after I left, was is that's federal property. 
you know, and how does he have the power to trespass me? And, you know, he did he didn't because right, I left. I know he didn't. But it's just I felt in that situation, especially I'm assuming that the two officers were with him are probably fairly new and they rookies were. and I just don't feel that the way he treated that situation that if they were gonna learn, I'm hoping that something was said about that because I, I never last thing I heard about it and I was probably somebody here that said it was on one of my comments under a you know a bogus name that said well he's he's been promoted no he's not been promoted so and yeah. i was the one who talked with him yeah and we just made sure you know we're very clear in how we speak and what to say and what not to say that's which cool i told you when i called you up that last time yeah and that's, i had spoke I, with him and i felt kind of, that's why i didn't pursue it anymore i didn't come in and say well i want the body cam footage i want this and that right. i just pulled the initial paperwork i did a public request on the foyer and and I left it at that because I felt that you guys were going to take care of it and I wouldn't have any more issues with them. But yeah, and how many issues have you had since then? Uh, very few. Very few. And, it, and most of it's either Lee County or Collier County. No, I mean here. In here? Coral. Zero. Mm, no, zero. Yeah. Zero. Just, just some looks and some stops, but nobody has ever told me since then to leave the property or you can't right. be doing this. And, and that's awesome. Cool. Well, yeah, man. Yeah, I, just, I just want to stop and say hello. For I sure. Seen you in a long time. For sure. Well, so, it's definitely nice meeting you in person. All right. Nice to meet you in person, too. <laughs> see you. Stay, stay safe, man. You too. So, guys, that was uh, the, um, if you watched the last video I had out here, um, I did an audit, and um, or I did the audit a couple weeks ago. Uh, you'll see in that, at the very end of the video, you'll see the email, uh, the response that I got back. Now, that is what I called getting an audit done and just I, I was surprised he actually said that much to me but this this is what you'll deal with out here when you come to the Cape Coral Police Department I'm feeling pretty positive about it guys at least in the 90s in the percentage but yeah that that was the master sergeant so he's he's one of one of the probably many big wigs out here and the, and the ones that you heard now we can put that to bed that, um, that he did counsel or he did tell his officer, of course he's not going to share that with me, of probably the things that he did wrong. And for all the people that was saying he was promoted, well that just, that just basically put that to rest. You know what I mean? This dude was smiling from ear to ear in that Jeep. So basically that gives me the other than the chief that gives me the which i would love to do an interview and have him say it's okay for me to come out here and do this um that gives me you know to, a little bit of sense of safeness coming out here well i don't know if that's the right word but it just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable <clears throat> so hopefully that puts uh, a lot of questions that you guys had about the police department um, that puts a lot of it to sleep. Um, and each time that I'm coming out here, it's getting better and better and better. And he was right. I haven't, I, I can't remember. I, I've had some looks from other officers here in the Cape, but I, I, yeah, it's been a long time now that I really think and reminisce about it. It's been a long time since a Cape Coral officer has told me that I can't do this. And obviously he knows, uh, he still remembers the, the post office incident and that and that was when i was maybe three months into doing audits i was nervous as hell i was still you know i was still learning i still am nervous so <clears throat> i thought that was a very good interview guys now if i caught this guy <coughs> off shift out of the uniform he might talk, uh, he would, yeah, I could probably get him to, uh, oh, they moved the sign in. I could get him to probably comment on that, the Floyd thing. But according to him, his officers are not out there to harm anybody. Which is a good thing to hear. Even though there's tons and tons and probably over a million people or more that doesn't believe that statement. It's just good hearing it. You know what I mean? It's just like, uh, 
if you tell you tell somebody you love them you know and it's been a while it's good to hear it every now and then but like he said nothing's happened um ever since that day with panky so i like i said i don't know i and i and, I, and you, you what, what i just said I, I didn't really pursue the body cam footage <clears throat> you know there was new and they were i confirmed that those were new officers with them you could just tell they were so young and uh and they sh and, and i'm hoping that he also told that to them or uh panky which was the real name that is such a i just never i haven't heard that name since next friday and panky's uh this panky's records <laughs> so anyway guys we're going to head on out of the Cape Coral Police Department area. And, uh, oh, that was the one that waved earlier. So, and this is my goal, is to show the good and the bad. Um, is to show these interviews, to show police interactions instead of them. I really think, I really know and feel in my heart that this guy listens. Uh, this so Grady guy, he, he does listen because he pulled over, he got out of his car, and he had a conversation with me, which is maybe the first or second officer I've actually had do that. Oh, that's the first that's actually got out of the car just to, to BS with me. So... I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you use it as a tool uh, for education because these are for educating purposes. I hope you share it. Do whatever you want to do with it. I am not one of those that say, oh, you can't use my video and copyright and all that stuff. You know, just do whatever you want to do with it, man. We're the world. Even if I was making tons of revenue on it, which I don't make hardly, barely any revenue, um, you guys could use it. Oh, we got wind. So that went really, really, really good, guys. I got to see both Master Sergeants. Um, I talked to both of them with multiple waves out here again. So I think we're going to go ahead and put this audit to rest, not having any issues. Oh, he was going kind of quick, too quick for a wave. Well, at least he made a complete stop.
is 50 feet from the property. So they're just smoking a cigarette. So, huh. So they're, they're over there recording this guy and he's over there smoking on the property. It's pretty messed up. I guess it's another news company out here now. I thought that was the same people. It's actually two different people. Wank news. Wank news. Wank news. <laughs> you think, I know if I was a, a news person, especially looking for stories and stuff, I would, uh, I would be, um, waving to the camera or maybe asking, hey, what's this guy doing out here? You know what I mean? I didn't see another news vehicle over here. It must be one of these unmarked ones. I don't see it anywhere. Probably thinks I work with the same news company and I'm over here <laughs> recording. <laughs> Alright guys, well I think we're going to go ahead and end this uh, Cape Coral Police Department on that note with a really good interview that I will be posting. Um, I'm probably going to post that, um, that on that interview. I think it was about five minutes long. I think I'm going to go ahead and post that uh, by itself um, to let the community um, hear and see um how their offices are um uh, what their what their goals are i mean there's a lot that you can get out of that conversation uh that we just had guys so again i appreciate everybody's support uh hopefully one of these days i'll be like some of these other channels and have you know 300,000 or whatever subscribers or even 10,000 i'm halfway there or almost there 70 whatever but um, I'd love to get the message out more to everybody. So please subscribe if you haven't. And please hit the thumbs up button. Show your support. That's what I mean by support. Not everybody has to have a donation or money. For that's, there's other forms of support. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. But I'd rather have you just your kind words. And, and any uh, words that, you know, will help me out here. If anything that you want us auditors to try different. I'd be glad to do. Hell, I'll come out here dressed up as the Statue of Liberty. I don't give a shit. So whatever we got to do, guys. I'll come out here dressed like a gun, a pig. It doesn't matter. But I will say, um, to you know, just to finish this audit off, come out to the Cape Coral Police Department and do an audit. I do not think that you'll be uh, disappointed. So everybody else, stay safe. Stay away from that COVID funky stuff. And God bless.